Hello, and welcome to Board Game Base Coats. Today, we are unboxing the Iwata HPC Plus airbrush. Now, uh, full disclosure, uh, I actually filmed this months ago before I started moving, um, but finally getting to it now, so uh, it's kind of nice to finally catch up on my backlog here. Um, now, I've been using airbrush for a couple years, um, but it's always been, you know, cheaper little brushes, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, um, some coming with sets or whatever. Um, and I was really hesitant, you know, spend, you know, $100, $200 on a higher quality brush. Um, and I really just wanted to learn my way around, around a brush. So um, that said, I've seen so many people accomplish interesting things uh, on YouTube with their airbrush. So... I felt, okay, it's time for me to invest and see if it does make a difference. So, opening it up, we've got a uh, sticker here. A little bonus on my little welcome back tour of my apartment. See if you can spot where you where I stuck this sticker. Leave that uh, comment uh, in the comments below. Maybe I'll throw a prize at you. Uh, here we've got a quick start guide. Uh, now the brush is made in Japan. Of course, I'm living in Japan, but I think this was actually meant for foreign markets. Uh, regardless, I was really happy to pick up a, a uh, pick it up uh, on Amazon here in Japan, and uh, yeah, I'm most curious about how to take the thing apart, and I'll be doing that off camera. <laughs> uh, let's look at some other parts. Uh, first off, we've got some lubricant. Uh, according to the packaging here, it says there's no silicone in there. Great. Uh, moving on, we've got the tool. Now this tool is for the uh, tip, the business end of the brush. If you've never uh, taken one apart, this will actually help unscrew it. And now the brush itself. Um, now in the past, I might be very nervous picking this up and how to handle it and not really knowing uh, what it does. Of course, you know, the paint goes in there um, and there's the button and stuff. But since I've handled a brush before, you know, cheaper brushes, yeah, I'm pretty confident about what's going on. Now my cheaper brush did not have this little feature. Um, but I might be nervous um, taking apart the brush, um, even just a little bit here, um, and wondering, okay, what, what does everything do? But having used an airbrush, you know, just a cheaper one, yeah, I'm actually handling this thing pretty confidently, so I think that's really a bonus for getting a cheaper brush. Now, this is a dual-action brush. Uh, my other brush is a dual-action as well. Now, it looks like I'm really forcing this here. I am not. Um, but I'm just discovering, oh, this actually does have an extra point here of adjustment, um, and that's just something else for me to play with. Now, as I say, I will be taking this brush apart completely, putting it back together. I figure that would take some time, though, so I'll be doing that uh, in-depth um, look at my brush uh, off-camera, but it is something to look forward to. Uh, for those of you out there wondering, should you jump right in, get an expensive brush, or get a cheaper one? For myself, I'm really happy with the time I had with my cheaper brush. Um, and happy to to see what this one will do. Thanks a lot. Bye